In this video, I'm going to be spending the day walking through just a few of the many diverse habitats that can be found along Lake Erie. All these habitats are within a mile of the shore. As always, the main focus of this will be to locate and observe the amazing species of snakes in these environments, as well as any other reptiles and amphibians I encounter. My target species for the day is my favorite snake, the eastern fox snake, an amazing species that lives in the Great Lakes region. Not too often seen, but it's just so cool. Another target species I ended up finding was a rare variety of garter snake that's only found in these areas, at least in high amounts. So, don't want to give too much away. Yeah, this day ended up being a pretty fruitful day. It's full of just so many awesome species. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so we're only a couple minutes into the snake day. I already saw something amazing. I don't know how well this is gonna pick up because it's super windy outside, but there's a bald eagle up there with a nest. Two little baby eagles. Man, this really isn't picking it up how, how it shows in real life, but it was amazing. As soon as I pull in, I see her uh, flying over with a, uh, with a snake right in her hand, Talon. Comes right up to her nest. That's awesome. Young eagle flying out, checking me out. Wow. I might have voiced this over, but this is crazy. What an amazing start to the day. Keep you guys posted. All right, so we already got a little sign of turtle activity. Don't know what kind of turtle has eggs this big around here, but pretty decent sized eggs. Here's my hand compared to them. Yeah. Either they already hatched, which I think would be early, or maybe an animal dug them up, but hopefully they hatched. It looks like they hatched. So that's cool. Maybe we'll see the uh, the mother of these turtles or the babies. All right, keep you guys posted. All right, so it looks like we already found another uh, turtle nest within probably a good 20 feet from the last one up on this big uh, wood chip pile. Already a pretty awesome day. Got some mushrooms going over here. Yeah, the spot's looking pretty nice. Yeah, so it looks like it's just gonna be turtle nest after turtle nest for this little area. Well, you know if I see any of those babies, now I'm getting excited. All right, looks like we already got a little friend. It's been raining for the past like, I don't know, day and a half. So a lot of bugs have kind of lost their ability to fly. Yeah, it's just chilling. Good bird food for all these rare birds out here. I gotta clean that eye off. All right, I'll let them dry up. So this little popping noise you hear when I walk, I'll cool off so you can hear it me stepping on fish flies so many of them thousands and thousands of them so yeah it's kind of cool they're just covering everything i don't want to pick that up but everywhere some more popping can't really avoid them but they're great bird food so that's the plus all right so it looks like we got some kind of grouse Showing right there. Super cool, almost camouflage. Man, haven't seen a reptile out, but the birds here are insane. It's hard to get them on uh, on film though, but I'll keep you guys posted as always. Cool seeing birds like this. All right, so I'm at the beach. I changed it up and I flipped the log. Found my target species. It's a melanistic eastern garter snake. Such a cool snake. Let me just get him real quick. That was in C2, but wow. Such a stunner. Jet black. Wow. Yeah, this is a uh, beautiful Lake Erie. They have a lot of them out here. They think it's because of uh, how cold it gets. They need to be black to um, soak up more rays, but just such a beautiful snake. 
hasn't mussed on me yet and I try to keep it that way. This seems to be a young, let me see. Uh, seems to be a young male. Wow. Absolutely awesome. I'm gonna take some close-up videos on the phone so you can get a better look at the face. Which is such a cool snake. I say that about every snake, but these especially. Looks like he just got out of winter, had a fresh shed. All right, I'll check back in on another video. I wanted to reposition, get a better look at her. Yeah, I know I said a uh, male earlier, but I think it's actually a young female. Let's see if this can focus. A little bit of sand on her. Such a cool snake. Got beautiful turbulent Lake Erie right now. A little on the brown side from uh, the rain the past couple days. All right, much better view. So cool. Yeah, I know I said it earlier, but they're uh, they're said to have a lot of melanistic ones out here because. Uh, they got real cold winters and they, I guess, just adapted to have more melanistics that survived. The black shade helps them heat up in the, you know, in the sun if there is any sun. Very little. Might also help with the uh, camouflage sneaking up because across the, uh, across on the other side of the beach, there's a little pond that has a lot of black mud, all kinds of stuff. I mean, Lake Erie just has a lot of them in general on the northwest uh, side of Ohio. Yeah, but being black would help in a lot of ways out here. They live alongside uh, fox snakes and water snakes in this area. Yeah, but just really cool, young, melanistic garter. Kind of looks like a uh, Mexican black king snake. Real dark face, too. Sometimes they got that uh, white lip. It might turn white as it gets older. All in all, very chill so far, too. Hasn't mussed me or anything. Very docile. All right, I'm gonna try to position her to get some better picks. Oh, wow. Look at all the uh, look at all the dead fish that washed up from the storms. That's awesome. Oh, there's even a dead turtle. Hold up. Oh no! Wow. That's pretty brutal. Well, life's hard out here. <laughs> Real hard. It's probably. Uh, I, don't know, I could check the time, but it's probably about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's about 62, maybe 65 degrees out, so it's still pretty cold. Found this guy chilling right underneath a pile of driftwood. Yeah. Super cool snake. If I got a voice over all this, you know, whatever. But I'm going to get back. I'm going to take some pictures. Hopefully, I'll find some bigger ones and... I really want to find an eastern uh, fox snake today. Yeah, so far a great snake day. Keep you guys posted. All right, so it's about 10.30 now. The sun's just coming out. And uh, we found that melanistic garter over on the beach under driftwood. So I really want to find an eastern fox snake. So I'm just gonna carefully walk along these rocks. Hopefully one's coming out to get a little bit of sunshine. Might get lucky. Super excited. Either way, it's been a great day. All right, so we walked pretty far out here. The boulders are getting bigger. The drops are getting a little bit droppier. But just a reminder to you guys, be careful. Don't be, don't be jumping from boulder to boulder. Don't be doing anything crazy. I'm not suggesting you have to go out and risk your life or break a leg to catch a snake or to see anything just i like to go out i like to see them you know basking on the rocks sometimes 
that's where I've seen a couple of them. So I do it. Just be super careful. It's not worth risking anything. You might not end up too well, like uh, like this guy right here. So just watch out. All right, guys, we got our next herp of the day. It's an awesome little turtle. Wow, she's pretty big. I don't want to disturb her if she's trying to lay a nest real quick, so. I can't tell if her eye's been poked out or if it's just full of sand. She doesn't want to look at me. I don't know. Probably mine might, might be a little disturbed. Yeah, it kind of looks like she's trying to lay a nest. So, I'm just going to leave her be and move on. I might check back in on the way back, so. Awesome. Yeah, she's a pretty, she's a pretty decent sized girl though. All right, peace out mama. All right, so the second snake of the day, is walking through some grass right here. Real pretty garter. Not as cool as that black one, but I always love a good Eastern garter. Got some nice pinkish red on the sides. Let's see if that picks up. Yeah. Super cool, a little mean. Got some musk on the hand. Got these weird fish flies all over me too. I'll get them positioned better. Whoa. Not as photogenic as the last one either. The last one was so calm. It's also a lot cold earlier. Yeah, nice Eastern garter. Apparently there's a lot of uh, melanistics in the area. I saw another garter. It's a brownish color, kind of like this one, brownish gray. Yeah, want to see a bigger uh, melanistic soon. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'll let this dude go. Peace out, homie. I believe it or not, the next snake of the day is also a garter. Of course. Nice, pretty brown one. Looks kind of like the one I stepped on a minute ago. Yeah. Super cool. Lots of garters in this uh, kind of hillside of tall grass, as always. Got yeah, cool colorations on here. Peace out. All right, so we got another young, probably yearling garter, maybe a little older. Nice tan caramel color with some uh, tealish electric green when it stretches. Probably smells all the other musk on me. Yeah, I can get a better look at it. Didn't intend for today to be a full garter day, but there's a lot of variation out here until I get that fox snake or another melanistic. I'll keep picking up the cooler ones, at least the different ones. All right, it's not really cooperating, so I'll just toss it back into the grass, keep it moving. We got another turtle of some kind down there. Just chilling, basking. I checked a lot of these rocks, but it's a little steep. So I'm just walking on the side for right now. Really trying to walk up that fox snake. Yeah, if the sun comes out, might get lucky. All right, we got our next species of snake today some kind of water snake i can't tell if it's a northern or a lake erie i've never seen a lake erie i'll definitely check up in the future give an update on it i got a little water underneath my phone case so it might be a little blurry might switch back to gopro Calm down for just a sec. Yeah, I'm gonna switch this to GoPro. 
All right, we switched back over to GoPro. Show you this little water snake I got. Wants to act right. Let's see. It's a good shot of the face. A real stubby tail. Lots of injuries on this guy. Definitely a couple attempts on its life. But glad we got a little bit larger of a snake. We're moving up in size. Hopefully we get that fox snake soon. Yeah, still not sure if it's a northern or a Lake Erie. Not really too familiar with the Lake Erie, but I will check in and update it. Alright. Peace out. Alright, so we got a larger water snake traveling through. I think it sees me or hears me. Yeah, that one just looks like a northern to me. Get up a little closer. And it's gone. Yep. We'll keep it moving. Alright, looks like we're in water snake territory. Not even two steps away and we got another. This area seems pretty promising. All right, on to the next. All right, so we got our next herp of the day. Looks like a little painted turtle. Can't tell if she's up here to dig a nest. Yeah. Some slime on her. A lot of reptiles out for such a cold morning. Yeah, I'll set her back down. Oh, big water snake, wow. Didn't even see that. That's crazy. I gotta keep my eyes peeled. Alright, peace out turtle. Alright, so I had to take the back of my case off. Get a better up close look at this one. This was the second melanus cigarter snake I got that day. I had some water in the phone case, so I had to retake the video. Yeah, it's so cool how they do this. Let's see if the tongue still has any pink. Like all garters, they don't really cooperate. Let's see. It's mostly black. Maybe some pink towards the uh, back of it. Yeah. All in all, super cool snakes. I'm gonna take a couple of pics of this one. The other one's prettier, but I'm gonna take some more pics of this one while I got nice lighting. And I'll move on. All right, we just got our third melanistic garter for the day. This one is a little bit less white on the face, but definitely not as jet black as that first one. Yeah, they're kind of like Vanta black, just like straight velvet. The belly's obviously not. The belly is garter snake lines. <laughs> nice kind of gray color. Yeah, these things are just too cool. Yeah, there's a pretty high percentage of them out here. I'd say probably caught on and off camera altogether, maybe... 10 garters and three of them were black so it's quite a decent amount all right i'm gonna take some good pics of this one and i'll see you guys hopefully on the fox snake all right we got some pretty massive carp in the water big boys we got a nice water snake just chilling Yeah, we're gonna move on. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer though. Yeah. Oh, we got a baby. Baby water snake flipped. Yeah, they're so cool looking when they're babies. I 
I'm gonna put them over here. Zigzag off that way, please. I'm gonna put your rock back. As close as I can. All right, peace out. All right, we just got a double water snake flip. <laughs> got a big one. They'll focus. Probably not. And we got a little baby. Under this big rock right here. So it's nice and water snaky today. You guys go on. I'll put you closer to your rock. There you go. Nope. Hey, I'm trying I'm trying to let you go. And we got another water snake chilling under a rock. Pretty big rock. I'll let move and then flip this down. Come on. Come on. Out. Out. Come on. Yeah. Good job. Now we'll put that back. Be right, careful. Alright. Alright, so we got the fourth melanistic eastern garter for the day. This one's got a lot of white, a lot of spots. Definitely has some pink on his tongue. Not as pink as my hand cell. Flipped him under this rock right here. Very nice. All right, we have success. Finally flipped this rock right here, right on the side of some cattails, on the side of a little hill, and we finally got him. A little baby eastern fox snake. One of the coolest snakes you can find, at least in my area. Pretty much the only uh, panthropus I'm gonna find usually. Super versatile snake. They love uh, the water, basically uh, an aquatic rat snake. They love the water, they can climb very well. They do well in rocky terrain on the side of water. They do very well in these little uh, low-lying trees. Not really these ones, but like, I think more like willow. Sumacs even, they can really climb. I don't want to disturb them too much. He's just such a calm, gentle snake. As they get older, their head will start turning orange, almost like a full pumpkin orange. I'd love to see an adult, maybe later in the day. It's about 3.30 now. Spent a lot of time looking at water snakes and garters to find this boy. But yeah, they're so much sweeter than a, than a water snake. It's very nice snakes. Even as they get older, I haven't really seen any mean ones or at least encountered any. They are hard to encounter. They're pretty elusive. I'll let this guy roll around. Let's see if I can see his belly too. All right, so they got a nice checkerboard belly. They're spotted up on top. I believe the uh, the name Pantherophis is panther, which is like spots, you know, like a, like a leopard. And then uh, Ophis meaning snake. So it's kind of like a spotted snake, which makes sense. Definitely has the spots. They do look similar to the baby water snakes, but you can tell that they're more of a rat snake kind of look. Yeah, my whole uh, passion for finding snakes started because I was out with the boys one day fishing in the summer, probably August. And uh, we were fishing at a spot we fish all the time. And this giant snake comes swimming by, probably five, maybe five and a half feet long. I've seen a lot of water snakes. I've seen garter snakes. You know, when you fish, you see, you see a lot of snakes. But just seeing such a massive snake I had no idea about living in my area, it made me want to learn more. 
go out into the wild, find all the species I could. Yeah, so these guys kind of started it all. Yeah, I'm gonna set them down and uh, try to get another shot. I'll be right back. Yeah, it's kind of funny because the, uh, the boys didn't know that me seeing that big fox snake would change my perspective on being outside. And I didn't really do too much fishing with them after that, that summer. I still go fishing every once in a while with them, but now I like to enjoy my time snaking, at least until I complete my list. It's a whole lot of stuff you can do outside. At the moment, I prefer identifying reptiles that are hard to find. A lot of people don't even know are there. These things don't get very much love and respect by most people, but I think they're pretty cool. So I'll keep showing all the snakes I find and it's only the start of this summer. So hopefully we find some more. All right, peace. Yeah, at this point, I don't even know what snake I'm on. Especially with water snake I'm on. They seem to be one of the most common. That ashy boy is going in the water. Alright, we got another melanistic on the crawl. And just like that, he's gone. I just walked up on a full size. What is that? Oh, that's just a Neurodia. Real dark one. Nice northern water snake. Oh. Whoa, easy, buddy. You know what? I'll just leave you. You have fun. Alright, we got our next turtle of the day. It's a super muddy snapping turtle. Jay chilling out here. It smells really bad. I get a look at how big he is. Or she, probably. Huh? Big old snapper. Don't want to get too close. All right, peace out, little homie. Uh, we got a painted turtle down here. Almost looks like it's stuck on that rock. Let's see if we start a little happen. Yeah, it's on just a weird angle. That's cool. This last clip that you're gonna be seeing is gonna be me on the way out, looking at millions of fish flies swimming through the air. Yeah, so anyways, that's all the cool critters I saw that day. If you got this far, thanks for watching, and I'll check back in soon with some more cool stuff. Peace.